A few days ago, my five-year-old daughter brought an old, beat-up, purple toy into the house. It had motorized eyes that moved and blinked, a humongous mouth with goofy teeth, and a clear, plastic door on its stomach that you could open and close. I asked my daughter where she got it, and she said she had found it in the middle of the road. After we had a discussion about not going into the road without a grown-up, I took it from her and threw it straight into the garbage bin, since it was probably filthy and full of germs. The next day, I found it in a room. She denied taking it out of the garbage, but I didn't believe her. I chucked it again. That night, me and my wife were woken up by her crying. I went to comfort her. Once I got her to calm down, she started pointing at a closed closet. I looked in it, mostly to humor her. And there, again, was the toy. Again, she denied bringing it inside. I took it down, and the more I looked at the toy, the more familiar it seemed to me. It almost felt nostalgic. I had a feeling like I didn't want to throw it away. So, once I put it to bed, I googled it. After about 15 minutes, I found some forum posts from a couple years ago. And, after reading them, I promptly took the toy outside, threw it on my grill, bathed it in gasoline, and burnt it until it was nothing but ashes. This is what I found. Found on the What Was That Thing Again forums, post title, Orange Furby Knockoff, posted by user 90skid underscore RTS underscore 91 on April 22nd, 2015. When I was about seven, my grandma bought me this neon orange Furby knockoff for me and my cousins to play with. For the life of me, I can't remember what it was called. All I remember is that it was furry. It had a humongous mouth so you could feed it the fake food that it came with. And it had a see-through stomach with a hinge so you could open it and remove the food. I don't think I ever saw any commercials for it or anything. Does anyone know what those things were called? Thanks. Update. From the comments I've been reading, it's good to see that at least a handful of other people beside me seem to remember these things. The general consensus I've been reading is that people remember them as being creepy. Or, as one commenter put it, effing terrifying. So, I've got to ask, were they really that bad? I don't remember. Anyway, thanks to everyone who is searching for the answer to this fun mystery. Update. Solved. Thanks to user jwilson9891. They are called Gorbos. Here's a description I found on a collector's website. Quote, Gorbos, or in singular, Gorbo, were electronic robot toys produced from 1999 to 2000 by the short-lived Mexico-based company Lester Griffin Toys. They are perhaps most well-known for having large, toothy mouths, motorized wheels in their mouths to allow the Gorbos to pull in or eat toy foods that came with a box, and small, motorized wheels on the base that give the toys limited mobility. Made to capitalize on the success of Furbies, Lester and Griffin had a limited marketing run in which Gorbos were touted as a more affordable alternative. The company was able to produce Gorbos less per unit than Furbies due to their more inexpensive infrared ports and cheaper microprocessors with vastly inferior AI. The Gorbos vocabulary is limited to four words. Hello, eat, follow, and yum. And the microprocessors are limited mostly to processing motion tracking from the infrared port in the eyes, allowing the Gorbo to follow its owner child with its motorized wheels. Though the toy sold moderately in Mexico, Lester and Griffin was plagued by bad sales in the United States and was ultimately forced out of business when parents complained that the motorized wheels in the toy's mouths were catching and eating children's hair. There was even a rumor of one child losing a finger but no documentation for this case has been found by this collector. There are also four models in the Gorbo series. Blue, Bipsy, P, 
pink, Momo, orange, Zangi, and purple, Festo. I've been looking at pictures, and I guess I can kind of see why some people might have thought these were creepy. The plastic eyes are almost too big, with real looking irises and big eyelashes, and the plastic teeth do look kind of like people teeth. Still, I personally kind of like the design. Super 90s. I'm trying to see if I can order one. I haven't been able to find any on eBay, but I'll keep looking. Update. I was able to track down a toy seller in Mexico that had an in-the-box, never-before-opened Gorbo. It's a Festo, the purple one. Should be here in about a week. Update. I was able to track down a toy seller in Mexico that had an in-the-box, never-before-opened Gorbo. It's a Festo, the purple one. Should be here in about a week. Update. I've been doing some research, and evidently, people still talk about Gorbos in Mexico. From what I can tell with my very limited high school Spanish, some kids thought they were creepy and started calling them Cocoy which I guess is like a folklore ghost down there that kidnaps children. Small creature, red glowing eyes, hides in closets. How creepy. To be fair though, I heard the same sort of rumors about Furbies on the playground when I was eight. I remember one specific kid swore that a Furby attacked his cousin with an axe. This same kid also insisted that his dad worked at Nintendo, and I should add that I've since looked this kid up on Facebook, and he is now a lawyer. Update. The Gorbo should be here in about two days. I know it's kind of weird, but I feel like a kid getting ready for Christmas. I haven't felt this excitement about anything in a long time. It's kind of nice to recapture some of those feelings from when you were a kid, you know? Back when emotions were bigger and deeper and simpler. I miss that. Update. The Gorbo was supposed to arrive today, but it hasn't. I've contacted the seller. He swears up and down he sent it when he said he did. Maybe he's having trouble coming through customs? I don't know. Give him my damn toy, Mexico. Update. The Gorbo still hasn't arrived. So, I've been busying myself with researching its history. Turns out the factory in Ciudad Juarez that was manufacturing Gorbos underwent a strike in 2000, which contributed to Lester Griffin going out of business. I've tried finding more information, but the factory burned down in 2003 with all its records, so no dice. Update. The good news is the Gorbo arrived. The bad news is the dealer appears to have lied about it being new. It's all dirty and even damaged. The left eye is completely gone. So there's only the exposed infrared emitter behind the lid. There's no plastic eye parts in the box so I know it wasn't damaged in customs. The eyes don't blink at the same time either. Always one, then the other. I think the motor is wearing out too. Every time it moves its eyes or its mouth, there's a super loud cranking sound. Or was it always that way? Even so, I'm still pretty happy. It makes me feel super nostalgic, you know. Kind of makes me think back to when things were simpler. The Gorbo can say, hello, eat, and follow just fine. I was expecting a silly kind of voice to match how silly it looks, and I thought I remembered it having a silly voice, but I must have remembered wrong. I guess the makers were going for a cute instead of silly, because it basically sounds like a small child when it talks. I guess they got a kid to record the lines. I know people said it was creepy, but now that I've got a real Gorbo in my hand, I like it. My son hates it though. He's five. He insists it eats dreams. I've had to move it from the living room to my bedroom because he refuses to be in the same room with it. I don't remember having the same reaction when I was a kid. Maybe you just had to be the right age at the right period of time, you know? Update. My son appears to have warmed up to the Gorbo. I found it in his room twice. I even found it hidden under a pile of dirty clothes in the living room when he was watching a movie, so I guess he's playing with it now too. 
it's good to see your kid liking the same stuff as you. Kind of makes the nostalgia feel deeper. He denies taking it from my room, of course. He even made up a story about it getting into his closet by itself when he woke us up around 2am last night. I just smiled as I took it back to my room. I think he's a little young to be embarrassed by liking the same stuff his dad does. But one day, we'll probably be listening to the same Green Day albums, so I'll give him a pass for now. He insists he hates it. But come on, how can you hate Gorbo? Gorbo still works fine. The thing that's still really impressive to me is how good it is at following. You put it on the ground, you say, follow, you've got to be pretty loud and clear, and then its little wheels start whirring and it follows you. What a cool idea. Update You know what's annoying when your kids touch your stuff? I found my son in the garage with a hammer. He was in the middle of trying to smash Gorbo. He said it was bad. Said he needed to break it to, quote, help the kids? Neighbor kids? Maybe they didn't like it? Thankfully, most of the damage was superficial. The motor was fine, but he managed to break the only eye. I sent him to his room. The thing cost me 50 bucks, kid. Go break your own damn childhood. Update. I managed to find replacement eyes for Gorbo from a toy part dealer in Canada, so instead of having one broken eye, he now has two whole ones. And, as it turns out, you can mix baking soda and water for a cleaning solvent that won't bleach the fur. My childhood has officially been preserved. I've had to lock Gorbo in my closet. I keep finding him in my son's room, and even once outside in the yard when he was playing. I wanted to have something nice to share with my son, but I guess not. One day, he'll figure out how precious childhood is and stop wasting it. Kids just don't have a sense of value. Update. If anybody in the Denver, Colorado area has seen a five-year-old boy, Caucasian with brown hair, possibly wearing a yellow shirt and blue shorts, please, please, please contact me his father, directly. We love him and miss him very much. He answers to the name of Michael Swenson and might be in possession of a purple Gorbo toy, which, which appears to have gone missing too. <laughs>